Today is the day, man. Boiler attacks. Going on my 2004 Mustang GT. I always wanted to put this exhaust system on a V8. I told myself, once I get a V8, this is 110% going on the car, and uh, it's finally happening. Excited. All right, this is gonna be the last cold start with the Magnaflow Magnapack exhaust, and then we're gonna be moving on to the boiler attacks. Let's go ahead and get this. Uh... I'm not gonna say I'm gonna miss this exhaust because I've always wanted the boiler attacks, but uh, man, this car is either gonna get incredibly loud or it's just gonna get like, a little bit louder but a lot more opened up when we get on it. Like 
overdrive for these cars. Just regular driving, it's not bad at all. Just cruising. This is literally how I just drive, I just cruise like this. Obviously, the, I want the downshifts to be loud, but... I mean, you're driving a Mustang. And people are looking at me too, like when I downshift, it's loud. It's like, it's... <laughs> it's crazy loud. are loud that's what I like that's that is what I love I one of the more aggressive downshifts I think everybody wants that as well so it's gonna be even ridiculous it's gonna be even louder when I get the uh, long tube remember this is not even long tube headers on here the original owner had on the short headers wait till the long tubes are on here with that X pipe and the attacks oh my gosh If you want to, you know, deepen this up a little more, you can put on an H pipe. But given the fact that I'm about to boost this car, I mean, the H pipe is more restrictive. So, but if you guys don't want to boost the car, I mean, just put an H pipe on it. It's gonna be super. It's gonna be even deeper.
like doing second gear pulls at all. I need to be in. I want to be in first, but it's screaming. <laughs> it's screaming. smell that exhaust smell too brand new exhaust running it up <laughs> Ooh. but I like it though like this cat bag like it is it is incredibly loud but if you don't want it to be loud, it's not loud. It's just like the cat back that I have on the uh, the FRS. Like it screams, and I mean it screams under load, but just regularly driving, it's not loud at all. Like you wouldn't even know the car was there. But I think I think that's like the best of both worlds, because you don't want to have a loud cat back.